Hello everyone, we are in practice four of Epidemiology and Statistics. Please read these two paragraphs to understand the study that we are going to be working in. And today's class is learning how to analyze two categorical variables or two quantitative variables. So if you take a look at the table, we will be here in two categorical variables with chi-squared and Fisher's exact or Magnamar and down here in two quantitative variables, which is correlation with the Pearson correlation or Spearman correlation. Okay, go to number one. Compare tobacco consumption between men and women at the beginning of the study. Are there significant differences? We have two categorical variables in this question. We have sex, which is man or woman, and tobacco smoking, yes or no. The samples are independent because they are not the same person or they are not paired. So our assumptions, if you come back up here, we are here two categorical variables, proportions, independent samples. We need to check to see if 80% of the expected values are greater than five. If they are, we are going to do a Pearson chi-squared test. And if they're not, we are going to do a Fisher's exact test. And then we are going to look at the difference of proportions. So go to SPSS. Oops. Um, click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Cross Tabs. So we've done this before. Whenever we were cross tabulating to get percentages um, between two variables in the descriptive statistics, we use Cross Tab. But we're going to do one extra step in this. So find tobacco use at the beginning of the study, put it in columns, and sex, put it in rows. It honestly doesn't matter which way or which um, box you put each of these variables in as long as you know how to read the table. Okay, so now we're going to go to statistics. We're going to click on chi-square and that's going to give us the chi-square p-value. Go to cells, click on expected. We need to know the expected values because if more than 20% of the expected values are less than 5, then we need to take the Fisher's exact p-value, not the chi-square. And click on the percentages. I always like to click on row and column just because it gives me more information. But you always need to be able to decide which percentage you need to use between the two. Click on continue and OK. All right, let's look at this cross-tab table. So we have tobacco use, non-smoker and smoker in the columns, and we have the sex of the individual in the rows, women and men. It gives us the count, which is the absolute frequency, and it gives us the expected count. So we can see here, in non-smokers who are women, we have 889 in our sample. And we would expect to see 835 if there were actually no differences between women and men smokers. That's what the expected count tells us. So if there's a difference between those, and it looks like there is, then that gives us evidence that there are differences between smoking status in women and men, but we're going to confirm that with our p-value. So you can see here that the percent within sex of non-smokers is 77.4% and the percent within tobacco use is 52.8%. So we want to know the percent of women who are non-smokers. So we're going to take this one, the percent within sex of the individual, 77%. And actually we want smokers, not non-smokers. So we'll take this 22.6%. And then of men, we want the same percent within sex of smokers, which is 31.9%. So if you go back here to the um, exercise, you can see that we have the relative frequency, the percent, and we have the absolute frequency of both men and women. And we need to take a look of, at our expected values. They're all here, there's four, and they're all very high. So they are definitely all over five. And that means that we are going to choose the Pearson chi-square test. And actually it will tell us here if we need to choose the Fisher's exact because it will tell us the percent 
that have expected counts less than 5, but this is 0%. So we choose the Pearson chi-square, which is, we need to choose the two-sided, and it's less than 0 0.001. So here we put chi-squared, p-value less than 0 0.001, and then we need to subtract the women's the percent of women smokers from the percent of men smokers and we get minus 9.3%. So we can say that there are that 9.3% um, less in women are smokers than in men. And we can say that it is statistically significant because the p-value is less than 0 0.05 at a 95% confident or significance level. If the expected values, um, if we have more than 20% expected values that are less than 5, then we just go here, Fisher's exact test, and we choose the exact two-sided test, this one. They're the same, and because the p-value is so low, it gives us a strong probability that there truly are differences in smoking status between men and women.